In this video, we're going to learn about storage section. The topics we're going to cover, they are the functions of storage section and customization of the storage section for your storage types. Now you need to again look at this org structure uh, picture. It's very important that you always keep in your mind the org structure, especially when we're customizing. So here uh, for the WM org structure, first we created warehouse in the previous video, then we created storage types for that. And now for each storage type, we need to create the storage section. So before we start, let us understand what is a storage section. The storage type can be divided, in, divided into several areas which are called storage section. So it's basically when you, when, you, when you have got a storage type and if you want to divide it further, there are going to be different racks within a storage type. Then we call it storage section in WM language. A storage section contains the storage bins where the material is stored. Many storage types have only one storage section because there is no requirement to break the storage type into further distinct area. So um, this we're going to see in the customizing that if we if we don't want to divide it a storage type into different section then probably we just need to create one storage section that means that's on there's the only one area and we don't want to divide the whole storage type so i'm going to show you that in the customizing in a minute and finally the storage section is a required structure so at least one storage section must be defined for each storage type this is very very important question that at least one storage section must be defined for each storage type. So how to customize a new storage section? So there's a menu path. Now we're going to see in the customizing. So here, uh, SPRO, again, you can open now. Um, under logistics execution warehouse management and sto define storage section so here you can see that for example 001 warehouse and if you look at 001 warehouse has a 001 storage type now storage type 001 is divided into two parts that's why they're calling it say total section maybe total section is not a right name let me show you the other one this one if you look at this one so you can see warehouse 001 and 002 storage type now this is divided in, into two different section okay so that means one is the uh, one is a fast moving item one one area is a fast moving item and the other area is for slow moving item but as i said that sometimes maybe we do not need to divide it further into the different uh, storage section in that case what we do is we if you look at this one um, we just create one storage section for that so for example here you can see for 001 warehouse number and 003 storage type there is only one storage section 001 and we're calling it total section you can call it whatever description you like but here the total section means this this is not further divided we're just keeping the whole storage type as a storage section we don't want to divide it further so for our storage uh, types that we created earlier so we're going to do it the same thing and um, just to quickly have a look the one that we copied so if i open the storage types that we created before so if i call my warehouse number YWM. So here we created one, two, and three, and 100 and 150, and all the 900 ones. So I can go back and go to this defined storage section. So again, you can copy from here, or you can. Uh, you can create or create your own so if you want to create new entry 
or easy to copy so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy um, one two so for the first one we'll do for our first zero zero one storage type we'll divide into two for second we'll keep one third we'll keep one and for all now we'll copy all the 900 ones and 100 and 150 so if I copy so I'll call it YWM press enter it's taking a while to save it yes so do the same thing for this one So we did not create 200 before so it doesn't like to copy so I will call it say 980 probably okay that, that's good Again, we reach to 980, probably it will not like it. This thing already exists, so let me make it 999 first. For 99 already created, let me call it 2 and later on we can delete it if we want. So let me save it first. So as you can see it's saved now now I can change the description if I want for example just keep an eye here for example the first one the 001 storage type I created two storage section so here you can see um, I created one and two so here you can call it like for example uh, fast moving items for example another one can be slow moving items depending on the business requirement that you received or it can be something else for example you can call it one meter one meter high rack and the other one can be some some different size for example two meter high rack like this so this way you can create your own description as per the requirement so for the second one and all others we did not create more than one storage section so you can see there's only one entry here 001 for 002 storage type so you can just call it total section or call something else if you want so that's it so I'll scroll down make sure the rest of the description looks good and for 999 I had to create two so let me delete the last one for 999 I create two we just need one for all the interim one interim storage types so that's it now I can save it. So again, you can see for YWM warehouse number storage type 001, I created two storage type storage section. One is high, one meter high rack, other one is two meter high rack, or it can be slow moving stock, 
or high uh, fast moving stock i can be something else and for all others um, there's only one storage section for each storage type so that's how you can customize your storage section so that's all about this topic so just a recap so today we learned about functions of the storage section and how to customize the new storage section so for assignment I want you to customize the new storage types for call it slow moving and the fast moving for your storage type and make sure you also copy all the 900 ones and if you want to call it something else not the slow moving types or fast call it whatever you like that's fine so that's all about this video and thank you for watching this lecture.